AMD has launched their Fidelity FX Super Resolution tool which helps with the upscaling process in games to boost frame rates. To celebrate the launch of this technology, AMD released multiple videos with an in-depth discussion of the technology and they published a series of interviews with multiple developers who talk about Fidelity FX Super Resolution, in short FSR. And Xbox was really quick to announce that as of Thursday, June 24th, the development kit for the Xbox Series consoles, the GDK will support FSR. But besides the FSR news, we also learned over the last days a lot about the Direct Storage API. There was a big interview with the Metro Exodus developer 4A Games, which revealed some cool infos and during the Windows 11 presentation we learned that PCs will now also be able to use Direct Storage. So there's a lot to discuss here today. Of course we will talk about the Fidelity FX Super Resolution and what it means for console gamers and we talk about the Direct Storage API and why console gamers should be excited that PC will also support this technology. Hello gamers from around the world, this is Archimedes, the video game enthusiast from Germany with a tech focused video on AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution and the DirectX 12 Ultimate Direct Storage API. But as always, rest assured, I will try to break down the tech talk into understandable words and I will try to focus on why this is important for console gamers and why these technologies will help elevate games to another level of graphics, performance and immersion. But before we go through all of that, I want to ask you for a favor. If you watch this video and end up enjoying yourself, then please consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content. This doesn't cost you anything, but it helps my channel more than you think and I would greatly appreciate your support. Okay, but now let's dive into the latest announcements about the Fidelity FX Super Resolution tool. Over the last weeks and months, we learned a lot about FSR and I already made an in-depth video explaining what the technology actually is. So we keep it short here before we dive dive into the latest news. Just to bring everyone up to date, Fidelity FX Super Resolution is an upscaling technology that allows images that have a lower resolution to be increased in resolution without losing image quality. Sometimes I've seen comparisons to checkerboarding which is really not fair because this technology is more like Nvidia's DLSS 2.0. DLSS 2.0 from Nvidia is currently bench at the market when it comes to upscaling technologies because it uses an AI with dedicated silicon called tensor cores. AMD's FSR is a more open solution to increase lower resolution images and it does not require dedicated silicon on your GPU. It works in basically every graphics card and that not only includes AMD's direct competitor Nvidia, but in the console space of course both consoles, the Xbox Series X and S as well as the PS5 can use that technology. Of course the overall results or effects are depending on how good your CPU and GPU is in your respective system. The first game that has been demonstrated with FSR has been received with a mixed perception and that is Godfall. While it is impressive that they can render games at a lower resolution and therefore free up a lot of resources for better frame rates, the image quality was after the enhancement not as good as when compared to DLSS 2.0 from Nvidia. The thing here really is that this is a super early technology and if we remember how Nvidia started with DLSS 1.0, we can expect a lot of improvements over the next months and years. The base idea is really smart, don't use your computational resources to get a native 4K image. Render your image at a lower resolution, let's say 1440p, to not only get better frame rates but also to increase the level of detail in your game. You can basically increase all the graphics settings to a maximum which helps the overall graphics and image quality way more than a native 4K resolution. And the first impressions from developers seem to be really great. The technology is apparently very easy to implement in the rendering pipeline of different game engines. On WCCF Tech there is a great article that quotes a lot of different developers on how fast they were able to implement FSR. Most developers said the technology was implemented within one or two days. For instance, the developers of Terminator Resistance called Exor Studios said, the initial implementation took us two days and as soon as we got implemented we started tweaking the game, the engine to make it look as good as possible. Or the studio Luminous Productions, which is working on the action RPG Forspoken said, 
FSR implementation only took one day. The process was very simple and fit in our pipeline very well. I could quote here now a lot of different developers, but you get the point. The technology is very easy to implement across different game engines and development processes, which is really good to hear because that means we will rather see earlier than later a couple of games that will make it use of the technology. And as I said in the intro of the video, Xbox was very vocal right after the launch on June 24th that as of today, the GDK, the development kit for the Xbox Series consoles will support FSR. So it is only a matter of time before we get to play games using the technology on the Series X and S and I bet that it won't take long for developers to adopt that as well for the PlayStation 5 but we don't have any infos here yet so I'll focus here now on Xbox. And when it comes to FSR most people always talk about frame rates and while maintaining higher frame rates is definitely one of the targets of this technology this is not all. One key advantage of rendering a game at a lower internal resolution and then upscale it for the output is that developers can crank up the graphic settings meaning better textures, better lighting, better particle effects, better draw distances and overall just way more details in the game. And all that without sacrificing performance. But let's hear from Ubisoft. They talked about the highly anticipated Far Cry 6 which will come out this September and how the game will use FSR. When implementing these next gen features we were challenged because we want the majority of players to have an enjoyable, smooth experience without having to turn their settings down. Using upscaling technology like AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution helps us address this problem because it means more players can enjoy Far Cry 6 with their graphic settings cranked up and without compromising frame rate. So as you can see, rendering at a lower internal resolution helps for an overall better graphics and visual presentation of the game. And that's why every console gamer should be excited that Fidelity FX is now out in the wild. And while it may not perform as good as DLSS 2.0 from Nvidia right now, it is still a big improvement over classic upscaling technologies like checkerboarding. And this is only the beginning and like every technology, it will advance over time. They have announced over 40 different game developers that are already developing with FSR, a bunch of games already do support it and other games are coming really soon that will make use of Fidelity FX Super Resolution. And by the way you can vote on the AMD website which games you would like to see to support FSR. But let's move on to another big news item of the week and that was the Windows 11 reveal event. With that we learned that PC will now support the direct storage API from DirectX 12 Ultimate that debuted on the Xbox Series consoles last year. The direct storage API allows developers to free up CPU resources while reading data in and out of the super fast SSD in the Xbox Series consoles. And we have heard a lot about SSDs in console technology now and we've heard some ridiculous stories about what an SSD actually can do. But it's a fact that the SSD in consoles will definitely allow not just for faster load times but also for better asset streaming, meaning we will see less pop-ins or far more details in the distance. It will also allow for complete different level design in games cause game data can now just be loaded in significantly faster than with a regular hard drive. The thing here really is that games can only use that technology if all devices that run the game can support that. And so far the lowest common denominator in game development was PC. So as long as games are developed for consoles and PC and the minimum PC specs do not require an SSD, games can only make so much out of that technology. And with the latest news we learned that the direct storage API will also be available for PC now. And I've said it before that we will really soon see an SSD as the minimum requirement when it comes for PC games. And this is just one step towards that. PC now can use the SSD and console gamers should be excited because it will allow developers to really fully optimize their games for that fast in and output of the SSD storage. The Metro Exodus developer 4A Games had something interesting to say about that. Well, the keyword here is beneficial and I think it will be very much so. Faster read access does not just allow for faster load times, but also faster asset streaming. So that not only seems to promise more content in the environment, but potentially more varied content as large assets such as high resolution textures and geometry are able to be paged in and out more rapidly. That will hopefully be boosted even more by the smart content fetching possibilities offered by tech like sampler feedback. So yes, I think we are seeing some very nice nice new technologies coming up that really open up the potential of that kind of storage. 
So there you go, the fact that all Xbox games will not only run on consoles, xCloud and of course PC means that all these systems have to support the same technologies in order to take advantage out of the available hardware. And coming really soon that is exactly what is going to happen. PC will now support direct storage API and I can't wait to see the first games that are truly optimized for that technology. But with that I want to wrap it up. In the lead up to the launch of the current generation of consoles we had a lot of tech talk and a lot of technologies were introduced. But hardware alone is not everything. Smart development tools and software technologies that take advantage of the built-in hardware are equally important. And with the global pandemic still going on, we can see that some of these tools roll out probably a little bit later than originally planned. But technologies like Fidelity FX Super Resolution or the Direct Storage API now come not only to PC but also are available to console gamers. And that is just super exciting for all the games that are coming in this generation generation that has only just begun. But for now I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And if you want to support the channel even further you can now become a channel member and get early access to my videos and custom made badges and emojis. If you want to learn more about the channel membership just hit the join button and you will find all the infos you need. And let me thank those who are already members, I am truly humbled by your support. And let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about Fidelity FX? super resolution. What do you think about the direct storage API for PC? And besides here on YouTube you can also hit me up on Twitter where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now, thank you very much for watching, I see you the next time and game on!